What's going on guys, XL Team Internal again and today I'm going to show you Flash GUI for the HTC One XL. Uh, this app just came out today for our phone, it was in testing for a few days. Basically what it does is let you flash a custom kernel or a boot image to your, um, to your newly rooted HTC One X um, if you have the HBoot 1.14 or higher. Um, this way, if you want to install custom ROM um, and you're still on, on stock uh, kernel, whatever, you can uh, go ahead and install this application, flash a new kernel or a boot image, reboot the recovery, install a ROM, and you're good to go. You don't have to do any ADB commands, no fastboot commands, uh, and you don't need a computer either. So, I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick, very simple and easy to use. Uh, basically, what you want to do is you want to go to the, the XDA thread here. I have the link on this video and you want to download either the free version or the market version up to you if you want to um, support the developer. I did the, I bought the market version today but I don't think our phone supported yet because it said 1x was not supported but the free version said it was so I'm guessing needs to update the, uh, the, the donate one. I'm sure I have it done today or tomorrow. Um, so what you want to do is you want to click on the download link here and you want to save this file to your desktop or your or your phone and then you want to plug in your plug in your device and turn on USB uh, storage okay and what you want to do is you want to send the flash GUI to your device and any ROM you have you can pull the boot image out of it and you can also do this from your device too, but um, I'm going to do a computer it's quicker. You want to send a boot image to your device, and the same applies for kernels. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and unmount the uh, the device, and then go in here and turn off USB storage. And you want to download a file explorer. I use ES File Explorer because of all the features it has, and I'm used to using it. And I just like how it is. Um, but you can use whatever you want. As long as you can get to the SD card, that's all you need. So what you want to do um, is make sure the files are on there. So there's a boot image and there's a flash GUI. First things first, go to settings and you want to go to, I believe it's in, um, the hell is that thing? Developer options? I can't remember all the time. No, it's not in there. Uh, security maybe? Yeah, it's in security, okay. Go to security and you want to allow unknown sources. This will let you install apps from the SD card uh, instead of the market only. So once you do that, go to your file explorer and you want to install the Flash GUI. Okay, so that's installed. Go ahead and hit open. And you want to grant this root access. Okay, okay there. Basically what it's telling you here is um, if you're confirmed that you have unlocked your phone with HTC, uh, you know, your bootloader pretty much. Um, so since I have, I hit yes. And what we're going to do is hit, um, you hit kernel image, hit browse. And you are going to look for the boot image, is right there. Hit yes. And hit flash image okay says uh, it was successful you hit standard reboot, reboot recovery or no um, so what we're going to do is hit reboot recovery let the phone reboot and um, then from here you can go ahead and install a ROM okay so now we're in recovery so what you want to do is hit install and find the ROM that you had pulled the, the boot image out of. In this, case, in this case, it was King King. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that, add more zips, I'm going to add G apps because it's an AOSP ROM. Hit next. Let the ROM install. And once it's done, you reboot your phone and you should be good to go. And that's how you install a custom ROM on the newly rooted uh, HTC One XL with the HP 1.14 or higher. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, follow us on Twitter, add us on Facebook, and on Google+. And uh, 
let us know uh, how you think, you know, if you have any issues or what you feel about the video in the comments. Thank you.